and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some Soul Tie mid range. That's right, we have a, a donation deck here to play some Soul Tie with a food uh, theme, some food flavoring that we have going on. Um, as you can tell, you know, we have Gilded Goose, we have Oko, so we have, you know, like that kind of, like those two food cards, which usually play those. But we're going uh, further into the food themes with playing for Wicked Wolf. A lot of people have been pretty impressed by this card. Um, I haven't myself too much yet, but I'm excited, you know, excited to try it out some more uh, with other, you know, like in a Soul Tie shell with a lot of other removal. Really, I've, I've kind of played it in like Simic decks. So I, I think it could be better here in like a, a longer game kind of thing where you're for sure going to have more foods available. But then that's not it. We even have more foods with the Savvy Hunters, some three mana three threes that whenever they attack or block, you get to create a food and you can also sack two foods to draw a card. So also extra foods that we uh, generate, we can draw cards with, <clears throat> with Savvy Hunter. We also have the Golgari Queens. They get to sacrifice foods. Uh, sorry, to have us gain a life and draw a card as well. <clears throat> and then, and that's like kind of like the meat of the deck. Besides that, you know, of course, we're ramping with our mana creatures and our top end. We have the Nissa Crisis combination that, you know, we all know how good that is. Uh, Murderous Rider is just an amazing removal spell that has certainly lived up to its billing. And Garrick is an awesome Planeswalker at the top end. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's play some Sultai mid-range. So it's a donation deck with our with all of our <clears throat> donation decks. We like to play them through a league. And that's what we're gonna do. Let's see if we can get another five win league here with Sultai mid-range. I need to update this. There's a lot of different ways to play Sultai in the metagame right now. Okay, there we go. That's better. So yeah, there's there's a lot of different ways to play Sultai right now. There's just so many good Sultai cards across the board. Um, so the question was, is how, how is Sultai in the metagame right now? It's, it's kind of hard to answer because there's just so many different builds you can have of Sultai, but... Overall, I, I like where they're at. You know, like it's there's an there's definitely enough good Sultai cards to uh, <clears throat> to make a good you know good Sultai deck. It's just kind of finding, picking and choosing, and finding the exact cards that you want to play. Well, Mold of Five is unfortunate. Sultai is just the color combination of blue, green, and black together. Lavinia is a good counter against Fires of Inventions deck, yes, but there's not enough Fires of Inventions decks around to have to make Lavinia worth playing unless you have a deck where you want a blue white two drop in your main deck. Like it's it's a it's a perfectly fine part of your deck, like in a Azorius or or like some kind of Azorius type of hero deck, you know, whether it's Jeskai or Esper. Um, there's no reason to have Lavinia as a sideboard card against Fires. It, it also dies very easily. So it's not worth it at all in a sideboard as a sideboard card in any deck, but <clears throat> can play it in. Esper, Jeskai, deck, or, or just, you know, like any other kind of, like, blue-white aggro that, that can use the body. 
just fine. Yeah, Lavinia can stop, you know, turn two. Uh, Oko off a of Gilded Goose, not off a of Grazer. So, you know, can't can do other things as well. Garrick and Vivian make a, or uh, Vraska make a pretty good combination too, with Vraska being able to sack the wolves to be able to put the counter on Garrick. Hmm. Nothing to play here. It's good. Why draw before scry? Because I have to make a decision with the scry. And so I'd like to have the most information I can whenever I'm making that decision. And so I, I want to, like, basically no matter what I draw is, you know, it's just fine. It's not like I need any one specific card that I'm really looking for. Anything is, like, a reasonable draw step. As we drew, as you saw, we drew, we drew a land. It lets us play the Garrick the next turn. It's reasonable. This curse. This I need them gone. Stay on the trail. Sacrifices must be made from time to time. It's always good to have most information you can whenever you're making decisions. I have I I purchased a Halloween tie. So I got I got a Halloween tie I'm gonna be wearing. It's a Hmm. That's a pretty pretty quick use of that realm cloak giant that's kind of makes me feel like they have more realm cloak giant i think a little merriment is in order cuz i don't really need to I don't really need to sacrifice anything <clears throat> to Vraska. I want to take up Vraska. I want to th have Vraska thread an ultimate. <clears throat> I think I have to go Wolves, not Emblem, because they get two more creatures instant speed. I would, you know, I want the emblem, but I don't think we have the. The end. Luxury. Hmm. So do I sack land or not? I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep the food here for the wolf. We can sack land. I 
Yeah, anything that can win versus turn one cat, turn two oven oven. Um, I mean, probably like an Oko deck. An Oko can turn the ovens into three threes. But, I mean, there's other ways to get rid of ovens also. But <clears throat> you can also just play things that race it, I suppose. So no, I, I don't want to sack a wolf because. I wanted three blockers here. So my Vraska can ultimate. My plan is kill them with this wolf this next turn. The wicked wolf, that is. If I ultimate Garrick, make this a 6-6 six, six trampler. We can make it seven and then eight with two foods to sacrifice. And then I have a murderous rider for removal also. So that should be game. We Reapers have trample. Relentless. Whenever you take damage, you lose. Create another food. It's not poisoned. Trust me. Trample means we don't have to worry about we don't have to play the murderous rider first. We can let them do their blocking. Also, it's like it's possible they don't like put enough stuff in front. They're just they're just gonna die. All right, that's cool. We don't have to show them murderous rider. They're just willing to take lethal. Sure. Just want to take take lethal, I guess. I mean, you do you. See, we're, we're teaching our opponent, you know, like, now my, my opponent maybe didn't realize what, like, the Vraska ultimate did, or, like, the trample with the Garrick ultimate. Maybe, you know, maybe they were missing something, and so now next time they'll be like, oh, I, act I actually have to block with all my stuff. But, like, there wasn't any death touch, but it, oh, yeah, 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 the death touch to opponent, yeah, so, yeah, so maybe they didn't know that, so, you know, they could be learning. Down, down, down. All right, so I'm bringing in a lot of other three drops. I'm going to cut the hunters, which are kind of our weaker three drop. Um, you know, it's a perfect match matchup for Ashiok and Ego. I like the beast. Um, I'm not not sold on Nissa. We just don't we don't want our lands to be dying. They play a lot of sweepers that kill lands. Then I think I can trim. Golgari Queen usually isn't spectacular in this matchup. It was great there though. Maybe we'd just play one and get rid of a Paradise Druid. I'm gonna get rid of another one. Another Paradise Druid. May need wolves to kill golems. And the wolf is just pretty good against zombies because it takes one out and then can block efficiently. <laughs> You're welcome, Pari. But we have our two best cards. Unfortunately... Unfortunately, we don't get to play him turn two. We don't get the the goose on one. That'd be nice.
Always need to be ready for Veil of Summer. So that's why it's kind of better to leave with, lead with Ashiok over Ego if they have Veil of Summer protection. Responsibility. That's more like it. Right. I leave you. <clears throat> I just really like shutting down all of the the shuffle effects, or like the the search effects. A lot of times I like to name Agent of Treachery anyway, and not Field of the Dead. We haven't seen Agent of Treachery from our opponent though. I like kind of relying on Ashiok to shut down Field. This might be a bad idea. Behold. Taking two Golos already. This has been a nightmare. Just wish I knew. I wish I had seen like their deck previously. Because Agent of Treachery is still just a huge problem. Agent is like we have zombies taken care of pretty well, I think. I say agent. <sighs> they don't even have an agent. That's the problem. Some people play like three agents, some people play none. They're playing Fay of Wishes. Well, could have just gone the safe route, but I like our chances. I like our chances, though. That's the thing is I'm just not that scared of the Field of the Deads with what we got going on here. And with having Ashiok shut him down. I, I, I don't... Yeah, I just have the one ego. I really don't mind that. Agent of Treachery is a card that is going to be a lot more difficult to defeat than Field of the Dead is. Obviously, with the result, I wish I would have said Field. But... Let's try this. Don't mind that at all. The crises are, of course, pretty scary with Teferi bouncing them. Or they're like that's just that's annoying. So there's one Fey, one one Kenrith. Yeah, you can name anything like in arena basically. Yeah, those are not cards I wanted to exile. My victory was but a dream. The brambles of truth dwell and curve. Welcome to the feast. Yeah, game three is just going to be a bunch of agent of treacheries. Set it in.
Unmoored Ego is not really a value card. Yes, I got no value off of that Unmoored Ego, but it's never really a, a quote-unquote value card. You never... It's always a card that you play, and you never actually take anything from your opponent's hand, because even if they have it in their hand, it replaces it, just takes cards from their library. So it's always possible that they never draw those cards anyway. It's not really a card to play for value, per se. What? What are we doing over here? It's not poisoned. Yay, Kenrith's gone. That's a good hit. Third Golos. Still only one field of the dead, but the Kenrith is gone. Third Golos. I'd like to hit Fae of Wishes, of course, also. <clears throat> what if Fine could just get two cards back? What if we could find back... Ego and Trophy, that would be awesome. No, I am not making this up as I go. Could have fooled me. So basically making it so it's easy for me to chump lock with these Apex pre Predator doggies. I wouldn't be surprised if they, you know, bounce Krasis back to their hand with Teferi. There, there is no such thing as dusting on Arena. Whenever cards rotate out of standard, they're still just on your account. And you can play them in other formats. Like they have Historic is another format that, that you can play the cards. But they... They, cards don't leave your account and you, you cannot there's no dusting scenario yeah they haven't you know they, they found the one field that we exiled but they haven't found the other fields yet Double blocking there so my Garrett gets to minus again. Here we go. I mean, I would assume that they're going to have Historic and Brawl have, like, events and everything that you get to play. Um, you know, kind of like this constructed event, like, where you play until you, like, win five or lose two or whatever. Like, I would assume they're going to do those for the other formats. But I can't necessarily say that that's going to happen. I'm not sure. I mean, that would, that would just only make sense. Looks like you're not fit to survive. Welcome to the feast.
All right. Good first win. Good job, Ashiok. And all the other cards, Garrick and everything. Yeah, that's the plan, Samuel. That's the plan. That's the plan. I think I may play like the artifact deck in the metagame challenge thing. I guess there's going to be like a metagame challenge event that starts tomorrow. And so that could be fun playing it over there. No, I haven't. I haven't played a blue-black lock deck. Um, I'm still not really sold that the lock is that great of a card. So no, I haven't built a blue-black lock deck yet. The Elemental Arcbow's deck is a Fire's deck. Niv the niv Mizza deck is not a Fire's deck. So this is weird. I kind of I want to put back the Goose because like we're we're gonna have like you know like have turn two Paradise Druid. Um, but the Goose making food for the Wolf is pretty important. So I I guess I put back the Druid. Uh, but like if we have to use that food to like cast stuff it's not as important it's not as good I'm going to put the goose back always keep goose I read that statement immediately after putting the goose back so that's not ideal <laughs> Sad honking. Have you given Abzan Wolves a, a go? Um, I haven't. I played Abzan Hero, which is similar to Abzan Wolves. Just d doesn't have. I mean, it only had Tol you know Tulsimar Garrick in that deck, but that's that's like the only Abzan deck I've really played so far. It's good whenever I, you know, I'm playing like four different decks every day, basically. Good night, Lucaro. Yeah, I'm playing four different decks every day, and there's still, you know, so many decks. Like, yeah, Abzan Wolves would be fun to play. Still so many decks I haven't played yet. It's a good, good sign. That there's a lot of powerful and fun cards to play in Standard. All right, the Royal Skyons are out of here. Looks like our opponent's playing New School Drakes. Drakes with Royal Scion. I'm at nine. The shock from this, shock from that. Yuck. So no, no, maybe this is just a an is it flash deck. Who knows? Could be anything.
That's a problem. That's a problem. Uh, the scooping to hide cards is not that great of an option. It's pretty rare to do that. Basically, if you like mulligan a bunch and you just don't and you just don't have any competitive hand, you can do that. That's that's really like the, the only time that comes into play. Because if you're already playing cards, you don't really need to scoop to to hide other things. All right, so flash flyers. Hmm. Okay, so we got a few cards to bring in here. We obviously just need to hit land drops a lot better than what we did. So need to take out top end. But I really like Garrick and Fine, so I guess it could just be Nessa again. Um... I, mean, I do like you know creating food tokens is nice because you know being able to gain extra life with those. So I don't I don't mind Savvy Hunter too much. I I kind of want to take out like the Paradise Druids because we saw Flame Flame Sweep and I don't know if they're going to be still on Flame Sweep, but I'm worried about the curve being too high with taking out Paradise Druid. I think our deck could use an extra land from you know how that a couple of these games are playing. We're at 24. I think our deck could really be a 25 land deck. Yeah, Duress has potential here as well, especially against counter magic. Uh, no, not 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 taking out Oko. Oko again is a another card that. <clears throat> Oko makes a lot of our other cards better, but it's just another card that can make a lot of uh, food, you know, make food tokens every turn, help us stay alive. I don't necessarily think that, I don't know. I think we have a, I think we have a pretty reasonable shot of winning this. Hmm. Need land. I don't need more four drops. I need to be able to double spell against counter magic. You know, play a four drop and a and the legions end next turn together.
We really need to draw land here. Come on, deck, draw land. No. We need land. Being able to, you know, bait a counter spell with like one of these and then legions end away the two cutthroats. Would have been really nice. Of course, my opponent didn't play a land themselves. land lands are also just good for crisis I do like Brazen Borrower's little jingle. I like that. I mean, I guess I trade Questing Beast for Borrower. Oh, Questing Beast can't block. Or the, the bar Borrower can't even block. Yeah, so that's surprising non-attack. Thing can't block. I definitely want these duresses in here. Certainly want the duresses. I 
after after seeing all those counter spells. We're gonna get duress trophy in, lower the curve even more. Honk. I was at eight. My opponent, if they would have played Royal Scions and ticked up, they would have only attacked for six. Like that last turn, I w they would not have had lethal. So the problem with over with playing duress here is I'm not doing anything else. Usually you like to double spell, play duress and another spell, but I am um I am short on black mana. All right, so the borrower's out of here. Ugh. Mm. I don't know when ranked Eldraine draft gets released. I don't know. That's pretty good. That was a good draw step. That was pretty good. I was going to have to, like, you know, maybe try, like, bait ionize with trophy or, you know, something else or, you know, figure out what we were going to do here, but that sure made life very easy. Very easy indeed. Victory. It is tomorrow. For rank. Um, what I don't understand. I don't understand why is the traditional draft not ranked also, and like the sealed. Why is sealed not ranked? Like. Why can't they just have rank with those? I guess because they're events. But like the the other one's an event also, and it's ranked. Like why? 
With limited, why are they not all just ranked? You know, you have like ranked best of one and best of three in standard. We're on the draw. We have a scry land. Couldn't find Azorius control. It's just from yesterday. It is the the seventh deck from one day ago. Azorius control. Faced. Your understanding is, is that it's some weird legal issue with the definition of free to play? Yeah, I, I don't even know what that would really mean. If they were in the same bucket, it would violate some random law. This is going to be a grindy matchup. We have a bunch of murderous riders. Let's hopefully continue to draw some lands. That gives us blue mana, even though we don't really have any blue cards in hand right now. It's good to have blue mana available. Yeah, Zora's control. Got the 5 0 there. Guess we're on a pretty good run today with our wins and losses. It's like I want the Fable Passage to get blue mana, but I also just want a murderous rider this. This Liliana. But I guess we don't need to anymore. We can. We can Nessa to kill Liliana. Exhausted. 
I mean, I guess I could have played Garrick this turn also, if I would have focused on playing Garrick. I was kind of thinking of just holding a Murderous Rider, but I guess I could have played Garrick too. But I, I don't really want Garrick I can help you killed now. immediately, which is what I assumed is what they would do. I can only destroy non-land permanents. I cannot destroy the forest. Sometimes sacrifice is necessary. <sighs> it seems fortune favors you. Hmm. Garrick or Krasis? This curse, this ramen. <laughs> you cannot run or hide. Still got five cards over there. Yeah, they can turn this around for sure. You know, removal spell for Garrick, Sweeper, their own Planeswalker. It's pretty good. I'm done with you. It's pretty good. Please don't have another one of those. Vine, remain blind. <clears throat> Baloney Pony. <laughs> you rocking these ties. Thank you so much, Baloney Pony. I appreciate that. Sixth sub of the day. Time to murder a writer. Yeah, I did the I did that challenge for every card. We we got to seven wins. I played a Simic Wishes deck. Unfortunately, I don't have another basic to go to go fetch. Like we still get to we still would be able to go get look for a basic, but I don't have any more. Not really expecting sweepers from our opponent's John deck, but we'll see. No, I mean, it's it's very possible that my opponent had, like, more removal. They were going to untap and use removal on this, and so they were just, you know, like, the, the removal is going to be trading with the food token anyway, so they are just doing that. All right, well, that was... That was pretty good. Double check. Nope, no more basics. But shuffle up. Shuffle up those murderous riders that I put to the bottom. Every exploit ripples another. My plans do not include. Not bad. I'd like to, yeah, I'd like to draw another land and be able to draw three with the Krasis. Yeah. Let's 
next time. Oh, there are fires of invention deck. How about that? That's what the red's for. Green or white. Saw a bunch of Liliana and Ugin. Hmm. Definitely want to get rid of Savvy Hunter. I think I just want to get rid of Goose. Also, I basically want to cut cards that just get swept up by Ritual of Set. We have Vraska, though. I don't really see things for my Vraska to kill. I'm going to try this. <laughs> try playing with auto tap off in the settings. Um, I haven't. I. No. Um. I have I have really haven't like it's it's super super rare for the auto tap to mess for the auto tap to mess me up. Honestly, and I would much rather play the faster game with especially with streaming and everything and and already um being a little preoccupied with that, I would I'd much rather have like the, the faster gameplay. It's I haven't I really haven't seen hardly anything wrong with the auto tap. Thoughts on Simic versus Is it Flash? Oko is probably eating murderous rider. Um, I haven't seen too much of Is It Flash in... Like, I know there's a Flash deck you're talking about. I just haven't seen it too much in action to... really gauge... to really gauge it, to be honest. Yeah, that's also true with the... with the game lag. It makes... manually tapping... worse as well. But yeah, I mean, I, I check all the time, you know, whenever I play a spell, especially if it matters, I check to see what the auto tap's doing. I think that's just the better thing to do is just just check before you play your spell. Yeah, it's just, a, yeah, it's like one second to check to see what it'll tap. That's all you got to do. There you go. The link that Rex sent you, that's how you can find previous deck lists. 
you can see find all the lists there or check out the YouTube channel. YouTube channel, you know, easy place to browse through the decks, you know, on the video page of the YouTube channel and then and you know the deck lists are always linked in the description panel. Also. Give it reach. Give it reach. Gadok is good. Yeah, I think Gadwick's a pretty strong card. They just casted it for mana. A little unnecessary. I'll try my luck elsewhere. I will protect the virtue of this world. That's a good last two cards to have. Huh. It's a... It's a bad attack, though. I guess... Yeah, because, I mean, we get to... Yeah, it's just a bad attack. They would have been able to kill two creatures. Like, we would be able to kill Ugin either way. They really just shouldn't have tapped the, the Paradise Druid. Do you thinking shifting Ceratops is more of a cyborg card for your blue matchups, or is it good enough for main deck? It, it can definitely be good enough for main deck, depending on the deck. For the most part, Questing Beast is a better main deck card, though. So, kind of depends on My strength fades. on what you're doing there with like Questing Beast. Um. And so, yeah, it's. I felt like it was a better. It was a better main deck card before Questing Beast was printed. I will invert the world to watch kings grovel and worms root. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, opponent gave a reach this time. Wallow in your deceit. That's fortunate. Went from unfortunate back to fortunate. The brambles of truth twirl and curl. Choking out lies. It's not poisoned. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, that, that worked out well. So I'm just going to block with... Planning to block with Murderous Rider and Token, I think. Nothing tramples over then. Yeah. Nothing tramples over. They'd only be able to kill one creature. Hopefully my opponent draws a land. That worked well. I have. I've played 
I have played Grixis Fires. Um, I don't think I played Fae of Wishes. I think I just played Drawn from Dreams. Actually, maybe I played a combination of the two. But yeah, tried some Grixis out. What's up, Necrolepsy? I think there is potential there. Yeah, maybe we don't get to five color Niv tonight. I'm prepared to do a long stream today. A longer stream, but still. <laughs> These games just take so long with the standard format. These decks aren't. These decks, like, no, like nobody dies. There's so much good defense and so much good card advantage. Nobody dies. Everything has gain life attached to it. They're at 27. Surely you must be famished. <laughs> no one ever really dies. The games just kind of end eventually. It takes a while, but then there's it's just a formality that the game ends. Welcome to the feast. I feel like saving the murderous rider for a planeswalker it could be unnecessary. I mean, if I murderous rider this this shifting ceratops, we do get to attack in for a lot of damage. But as we said, the game's not really end. Damage isn't isn't necessarily that valuable. Just want to be able to have enough cards at the end. All right, looks like looks like the Yoko is going to be going to go down here. Poor Yoko. They can cast one more spell this turn cuz of fires. Uh, I guess I should just kill the Ceratops. Kill Ceratops, we get to attack with everything. Is that match? That's match. That's victory. That's 3 0. Let's say we're doing pretty good today. 8 up, 8 down. 
Doing pretty good. Ugh. Let's see if we can keep it going. <laughs> yeah, going for the 20 out today. Yeah, our Sultai decks felt pretty strong so far. Kind of wish we had like one more land. Maybe instead of the fourth. I'm I'm still I'm not sold too much on the, these three mana three threes. Maybe instead of the fourth one of those, play a land. The savvy hunters, yeah. Not sold on those. Yeah, we could use another land. Yeah, we could use another land. Could really use more lands. Take care, Garrick. This kind of feels a little unnecessary, shocking for the goose whenever this is going to come into play tapped. Maybe, there we go. That was like what we kind of needed was another land. Because I didn't want to, I didn't really want to use the food to cast a Paradise Druid. Yeah, Zora's control is good. I recommend watching Azori's control on like one and a half or two two x speed. <laughs> it was a it was a slow league, but it's a good deck though. Yeah, thanks Rager, Rager. Yeah, so that's that's where you find all the decks there. Uh, the the Azori's control is up on YouTube as well. Right now. Simic Flash. There's way there's no way Nisa resolves against Simic Flash, right? Yeah, you're you're not supposed to watch opponents that are streaming. If it's something that's like can be confirmed that that you're doing it, wizards may take action against you, but very very doubtful of that. But it's not, you know, you're not supposed to. Nisa It's nothing that I really ever, I mean, I I don't do anything about it. You know, it's nothing for me to do. Like, if my opponent's watching, it's nothing I can do about it. But just in general, you know, with your question was, like, I just recommend just don't do it. What's up, Rochian? All right, Krasis is in.
Brazen Borrower is out. Shocking in here to be able to make um, a food token. My opponent's definitely trying. Hey, sub human. I am doing very good. Yeah, having a good day today. And then it's showing up with the in the win column also. <clears throat> All right, we do have. I mean, we can use the goose to activate castle if we want to activate castle. I mean, I'm definitely casting Murderous Rider on a wolf if they had a wolf. It does not look like they have a wolf. I mean, the pressure's on my opponent, trying to outrace him. They can, of course, use a Brazen Borrower. <clears throat> More field mystic. You're going to trade with borrower and sailor. Yep. Fine Sailor obviously gets to draw a lot of cards, so I don't mind that trade. We are in a, a really good spot with having Oko. Surely you see and, the you know, Oko the Oko Goose combination. Oko Goose.
All right, now we can start having castle turned on a lot easier. Your new look is enchanting. And no, I'm not attacking into a wolf. I want to be able to block a wolf. <laughs> what a disgusting combo. <laughs> hey, what's up, Yud? <laughs> uh, I'm going to participate in Paper Tournament. I need to order my deck today. At this point, what decks have you played that you would suggest? It's, it's honestly just really hard to suggest a deck without knowing, you know, playstyle preferences or anything like that. So, I don't, I don't know. Um, I mean, you really can't go wrong with. I mean, it's it kind of feels like. Should be playing like five color Golos or an anti five color Golos deck right now. Blue green flash. I have. I like blue green flash more. Um. Let's broaden your existence. More in best of one than best of three. In general, there. I should have played my land. I would have taken a little less damage. I should have just played my land first. Oh, I guess I did it. I did want to play the land. That's right. I didn't want to because if it was a black source, I wouldn't be able to play it. Ah, opponent's drawn well. That's not great. Wow, they really are drawing well. Well, I liked where we were at a little bit ago. We're just drawing lands, and they're just drawing creatures. I no longer like where we're at. Heaven. No, nah, I couldn't steal the wolf before because it was four power. Come on. Take three. Yay. A real card. I guess my opponent's still going to have lethal because I played the overgrown tube and how I've taken the damage. My opponent's going to have lethal if they draw a bounce spell here. Yeah. Hopefully they draw a land for the first time in a while. Just draw a land. Because Oko dies. share my vision. I'm still behind because of the Brazen Borrower. Ooh, 
Leave my blocker untapped? I mean, I can't... To kill, to kill that other cutthroat, I couldn't leave it untapped. I really thought we were going to win this game. Yeah, I could have killed the 2-2 killed the two -two and left my wolf untapped. I could have done that. I don't I don't really have much life to to go with here. I wasn't drawing with castle. Um, three crisis left. We've all, we've drawn one. Pretty sure there's four in the deck, right? Yeah, there's four crisis in the deck. So there's three left. I'm at 19 minutes. Game one here. Yeah, Drowning the Locks is definitely good. Yeah, you want to be able to play a longer a longer game. Yeah, absolutely, Drowning the Locks is good. Uh... No, I I wouldn't say the five color Niv Mizzet would probably win any tournaments. Probably probably not. No. I'm good at what I do, and what I do is win. Back to the shadows. I think a little merriment is in order. No, yeah, that's the five color Niv Mizzet. It's gonna be like really a, a first test kind of thing. No, I wouldn't. That we're gonna be playing it here. I wouldn't necessarily take it to a tournament. Um, you can also, if you want something a little different, subhuman. If you check out the YouTube channel. You know, go to the playlist side. There's a playlist that I have, like, my favorite decks. So, like, the the decks that we've played that 
that I that like you know impressed me and everything, and you know, like my favorite one. So you know, check you know you can check out that playlist there, and you know you go to the end of the videos and listen to me talk about them about about the different decks and you know if there's something that catches your eye there. Okay, so McFlash. We're gonna play Veil of Summer. Grasp. Trophy. Again, we don't really need three threes. Um Savvy Hunter hasn't really done anything. I've I've sideboarded it out every match so far. Especially post board. Three mana three threes are, are pretty pretty weak in post board games. But I I can see the synergy working for like game one. Ah. Yeah, this deck this deck's definitely pretty competitive. Yeah, you could do you could do well with this deck. Again, I would want to cut a Savvy Hunter for a 25th land, and I would want that land to, to definitely be a black source. Um, I recommend doing that immediately. You know. I definitely recommend doing that. One outside in duress. I could. They're basically all creatures, though, to be honest. Their deck is basically all creatures. I've. I like duress less and less against our opponent's deck. Okay. Seems like. Like, I've whiffed a bunch with duress before. They have, like, you know, Sinister Sabotage and, like, Negate. Maybe quench. Like they have very few actual spells. That being said, it's not it's not necessarily a bad card. I've just been disappointed with it quite a bit. Keeping a sixth land. This is a good sixth land, though. Oh, not that. That. Spectral Sailor so good. Hey, good job, Zedalom. Got a showcase love streak love struck beast foil today, that's awesome. Hey, good morning, Frisky Biscuits. Are, are you telling P. Jelly good morning? Oh, 
Hopefully they don't have another counter spell. Yay. Nissa can put some good pressure on the opponent. They can, of course, have the Brazen Borrower to bounce Nissa, though, also. Wouldn't be too surprised about that. Wow. That hurts. That really hurts. All right, Wicked Wolf, doing what it does. They're down to three cards over there. We know one's the borrower. Even though I kind of like Oko more than anything else. Whoa, it resolved. Walk with me, sing with me. I will enlighten you. Wow. I was expecting that to get countered. Hmm. I don't want to turn this into a 3-3 three, three, so I don't get to keep drawing. But then Oko dies. They don't get to draw cards. I guess Gilded Goose dies. Wicked Wolf, definitely better. Here, it's it's better in this, this grindy deck with a lot of other removal and stuff too. We don't have to rely on it doing everything. Alright, so Oko dies. But that's fine. They're down to one card. They don't get to draw extras. You have to minus five to steal something. Oko enters with four loyalty. 
can't steal immediately. Well, this is not too bad for me. Especially if they don't have a counter spell for finality. Your expectations are exhausting. Scry bottom. Ugh, scry top. I don't like scry top. Like scry top, yay! I didn't. I know I could attack, attack first, and get more damage in. But I didn't do that because if it, if that got countered, I wanted the wolf back to block the three three that I made. The goose coming in with a twirl also. That was a fast resolve. The land fights for us. Makes sense why that was a fast resolve now. Two points off of lethal there with the wolf. Not sure if I want to make a make a food or crack a food. Still lethal. Ugh. Still lethal. They just don't have very many spells for duress to hit. I 
if I just don't attack with the Nissa land, like that's the the play that I really regret was attacking with the Nissa land. That was a bad attack with the land. They kept the card on top, and then they did not counter Nissa. It was pretty obvious a wolf. There at the end. That was that was a bad Nessa attack. I don't know. Maybe I'll try these duresses instead of these Paradise Druids. Well, these games have gone super late. Garrick's not necessarily too pricey. These games have gone super late. It's so frustrating to lose because we don't have enough lands. But here we are. All right, we're ditching... We're di ditching the Fable Passage because we don't want to shuffle the lands back. And... Forest. have three other green sources anyway. Okay, we got three lands down to the bottom. So now, deck, give, give me a lot of spells. I did walk into that. I guess I could have turned one to rest. I guess. <sighs> yeah, they have Veil of Summer, Spectral, Sailor, Opt, if they're playing Opt, I assume so, but I was hoping they'd have Sailor and that kind of stuff and not Veil there. It doesn't It doesn't get better for me for waiting because they never tap out, so it's not like oh, I could just wait for them to tap out and then duress. just doesn't get any better for me. All right, we got four lands down to the bottom. So we're through 10 lands of the deck. So now we should hopefully hit a good spell pocket. A lot of spells. That's a good start. Well, that was two spells in a row for us. But I think seven, seven cards with immediate Veil of Summer is going to be better than five cards.
they got us. All right, three and one. Man, another super long deck here. We used to play four leagues <laughs> in six in seven hours. Now we're playing like two leagues in seven hours. I think I should reset arena also. I guess maybe I should have done that before this match here. Yep. Yep. Very, very slow grindy format that we have, which is which is not bad. I mean it makes it makes for really good games, but it's just <laughs> the games are so long. That's kind of the problem. Like it does make for good games though. Good job, Slim Jim. Way to go. Way to go. And they're real tiring games also, like playing them over in my shoes. You know, like I'm, you know, I feel a lot more tired than I, I did, just, you know, just an hour or two ago. So it's, a, it's a very exhausting it's very exhausting to play really long games. Yeah, you know, real mentally draining. Yeah, I just need more Boros Knights. That was like a 30 minute 5 0 <laughs> that we had the other day. All right, Field of the Dead is not known for short games, that's for sure. Real good hand for my opponent, though. This is their, their turn three. They have six lands in play on turn three. That's real good. I mean, I can't complain about my hand either. I'm not, I'm not saying that I have a bad hand. I'm just saying they had a really good one. I wonder if they have time wipe because of that block. That block's kind of telling me not to play Krasis, which was what I want to do is play Krasis. That block's kind of telling me not to play Krasis. I could sack both of the foods to draw two card or draw one card with the savvy hunter. But I can just sack sack it to draw a card with Golgari Queen anyway. Do 
don't think I really want Nyssa. Do I? Oh, maybe I do. I just I just hate Nyssa against a deck that plays a whole bunch of sweepers. But I do love Nyssa with Krasis, so there's that. We are, of course, working towards Vraska Ult. Really thought about playing the Murderous Rider as a 2 3. Really thought about doing that. That hurts. I guess today is your lucky day. Together, we will prevail. Rise, my elemental friend. So I name Agent a Treachery, or, you know, like the game that we played earlier that I, on Mordigo, and just named Agent a Treachery, and then it turned out they had zero in their deck. It's still, it's still a really rough card to deal with. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Why does my opponent have, like, the best thing they can have? I Ugh. Teferi's perfect there because Nissa's is gone now. Alright, looks like they got game one. Looking for finality. Looking, looking for finality. Trust me, I have a plan. I've got it. So plan is to be able to have that thing blocked there. And we're down to two.
You don't have reach, do you? No. We have to do one damage to this Teferi. Very annoyingly. Hey, that was uncalled for. Can't quite. I mean, I could play Nissa in this, but not quite. <clears throat> we got the Murderous Rider Life Link. Not doing so bad there. Blocking like this, we still have the food for the Wicked Wolf in case there's another Sweeper. Guess they can always inst instant speed Sweeper, though. Why don't they just do that and then attack? The goose was summoning sick. It couldn't make a food. If it just did that and then attack, wasn't I dead? Because I have to tap the wolf? Yeah, I was definitely dead if they would have just done that and then attacked. Don't worry, I got this. We're trying over here. Surprised they didn't bounce.
And they dealt the damage to the wolf first. So my breeding pool stayed alive, and now they're bouncing the wolf. Wow. That went very well for me. Stand by and watch. Trust me, I have a plan. I don't know if your plan's good enough. Only time will tell. Yeah, I guess that's true. Only time will tell if your plan's good enough. I, I don't really need to play Murderous Rider here. Instead of instead of playing Murderous Rider, holding up, make up food to keep the wolf alive if another giant... Oh, come on. Ugh. We were doing it. Must be nice. Must be nice. You were doing it, being in this game that a couple of y'all were saying like that I should have conceded a long, long time ago. But no longer doing it. Removal. Nope. Yeah, top tech our own crisis would have been nice. Should attacked with Murderous Rider. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, what? I should have attacked with Murderous Rider. Dang, I could have stayed alive if I attacked with Murderous Rider. We just had really, really long games the whole time. I think it. Yeah, it's just, it's unreal how long these games take. <laughs> they take so long. Like, our first league was, like, over three hours. <laughs> I, I don't have a murder for Krasis. The, the murderous rider was just the creature. If I would have, I, you can't hold it. It was, a, it was, I already cast Swift End. I killed the Teferi the turn before. I had I had no swift end to kill the crisis. I could have attacked for two with murderous rider, gone to three just by lifelink. It gets, it gets blocked, but then they attack. I block with the goose. I make another food. I set I sack both foods, so I gain six life. Go up to nine. The goose with the two toughness means that I stay at one with the trample damage. So I could have done that to stay alive there, but I didn't attack. So that didn't work. I'm gonna keep Nessa. Keep one Nessa. <laughs> I 
Did I not bring an ego? I mean, I certainly want to play ego. Did I not bring it in? <clears throat> We're well. The the plan is to play elemental arc bow up next. You can find that deck there. Because obviously, ego, you know, I egoed last time against this deck. Yeah, yeah, I brought the ego in. It's there. This is game two. Yet again, turn three with six lands. It's like last game. Just naturally drawn two Field of the Dead and have eight lands on turn four. Pretty nice. Oh, that's cool. Just drawn three Field of the Deads. Crisis. Help me out. There's so many zombies over there. Field of the Tron. Not even attacking first. Oh, a fetch land. That's convenient. At least my opponent's fetching now. For me, that's good. They're not waiting to fetch. That helps out. Doesn't help out that much, though. Well, I needed that Legion's End to resolve. Let's see what we draw here. We can stop drawing Gilded Goose.
Nope. Let's have eight. Hey, Lou. Yeah, one, we were one life away from killing our opponent. They, they gained one life from a, a life gain land. And, you know, I, if it wasn't for that one life from the life gain land, you know, we could have Rider kill Giant, kill them. That's 12 coming through. Why are they didn't attack with the giant? The giant has vigilance. They could have attacked with the giant. They definitely have a basic forest. So no, I can't really trophy here. Gain two life, go to three. I don't have like anything to draw into. Fetch land, that's nice. It's just gonna barely kill me. I think. Yeah, I think that kills me by one. Well, maybe not. I guess if I trophy a zombie token, I can stay alive. Is that right? Oh, let's need a seven. That's 10, I gained two here, nine. So yeah, we need a trophy, a zombie token. So I need to draw, find finality. Let's not find finality. Ugh, Hawkeye. I tried so hard. I don't know if I don't know if I was gonna survive find finality anyway.
Just have the one Legion's End. Awesome hand there for our opponent that game too. It's really that like that negate for the Legion's End. That was the difference. That negate there. Got me really good. It's it's not likely getting banned. No, it's not likely that it will. Alright, so that's our soul time mid-range. Um so of course I, w I wasn't impressed with this, the Savvy Hunters, but then again, I, I did sideboard them out all the time because post war games are, are you know pretty slow as we see, and just a, a three mana three three isn't nearly as impactful as just other as other cards um, post board. I I liked the Wicked Wolves a bunch; like they they did look pretty good in here. I kind of just wish I kind of wish the Savvy Hunters were different cards. As we talked about, I think that this this deck certainly needs a twenty fifth land. I think that's that's step one is is taking out one savvy hunter for a twenty fifth land, but then I think that the other three savvy hunters could just be better used as like assassin trophies and everything. So we just had like a another watery grave for example. So we had like another watery grave, no savvy hunters, and then just had like a couple trophies and like a legion's end just had a couple of trophies and a legion's end in the main deck i think i, I would rather be playing these cards um and then uh, and then sideboard you'd have room for another Maybe another Legion's End. Like, we only had one, so this, this at least has two. We could play, like, another Veil of Summer. Like, that card is, is just really good. I like the Questing Beast in the sideboard. I kind of don't like Duress these days. Actually, I think it would probably just take out Duress. kind of just don't like Duress these days. So we saw against like the flash deck, duress just doesn't hit very much, and even against against the Golos deck also, like with their sweeper being a creature, with it being a giant, there's just not a lot to duress there either. Yeah, I mean, could could go with thought erasure. I I like thought erasure a lot more than duress. If you want discard, still could just play like a couple thought erasures in the sideboard. Yeah, I'd rather have Thought Erasure. It just hits. Sure, it costs one more mana, but it just hits cards that you need to hit. Um, other options are playing like another Legion's End, playing, um, yeah, getting getting like a third Legion's End in there, which I wouldn't mind at all. Um, you know, fourth Veil of Summer, third Legion's End, fourth Trophy. Those are all options as well. So, there we go. All right, that's Soltai mid range. Uh, still pretty impressive, though. Like you know, there's, there's just so many good, powerful cards in the deck. Um, Goose, like late game, Goose was is just honestly really good. Be able to make the food tokens and everything late game. It's it's really good. I wouldn't mind taking cutting one of the Nissas. I don't really know exactly for what though, but <clears throat> yeah, this this deck just can't really turn on drill bit, which is why th I'd rather play Thought Erasure because this deck doesn't really play be able to turn on drill bit. Yeah, a second a second on Mordigo is is also another option there as well for sure. All right, so if you're watching the video later on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there, but. Thank you so much for watching some Soul Time Midrange. Also, of course, leave some comments. I always like seeing the comments over there on YouTube also. So please leave comments on the videos too. But thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.